Personal. Personal development. Personal development. Personal development. Unplugged. 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 Right, let's lock down for success, whatever that means. Well, this is my definition of locking down for success. Um, and it is the five minute quickie here with me, Paul Clough from Personal Development Unplugged. And what I want to talk to you about now is this locking down for success. Because I've noticed um, of late when I've either been very busy or I've seen other people who become very, very busy, that they don't do the things that they would normally do when they're not busy, which is like have a strategy, sort it out follow the path that they always follow that always means they do the things right we tend when we get very busy to think well i'm too busy to actually go and do the stuff that i know works i'll jump ahead i'll or i'll just do it because i'm sure i know exactly what i'm doing and what happens is we miss out a few steps and the things that that allowed us to have success in the first place disappear and it's the only thing that really stops us so when you're not busy you really you've got time to plan and you but when you're really busy you haven't got time not to plan so you know it's a matter of really start to say what are the things i always do that i know will always get me to that result And just write them down if need be. Write those three, four, five steps down. And then maybe on a weekend, if you look at your week, what are the things I've got to achieve? And what are those steps? What are those steps that will allow me to get from here, where I am now, to where I want to be? And by when? Remember the SMART goal and things like that. But it's timed. But also, there's a method of measurement. And you can only measure what your progress is if you know where you want to go and how you're going to get there so it's really important i think uh, an example was given to me the the uh, other day uh, someone i know really closely who used to always plan and was really good they achieved everything they wanted to achieve in the weeks and the months when they and it wasn't a big deep plan it was just getting the strategy right of the things that are important and knowing exactly where they were going and when they wanted to do it and and just fine tuning it condensing it into the important things and they were always successful and then a little while later when they were got really busy really successful they found out that they weren't having that that same level of success or they were missing things they weren't up to that their usual really high standard which then made them feel bad which then in turn had an effect on what they did and it was like this realization say well what do i do what did i used to do that that created where I am now. Well, I did these three or four simple steps. So go back to those three or four simple steps and you'll find the busier you get, the easier it gets because you're focusing, you're fine tuning, you're condensing, you're really focusing on the one or two important things. So you're spending 80% of your energy on the 20% of things that create 80 90 percent of your success and that's a real good return on your investment you know because there are only a few things that really count you can lever out leverage out the some of the other things or you can't do everything anyway so what are the most important things and how do i normally do it and it's that realization sometimes of how simple things were you're just going to find how easy it is so think of that how busy are you if you're not that busy well let's find the steps that's going to allow you to be successful and get busier and then if you're really busy just look back look back over the the times when you were successful and how did you get that successful how did you complete the things you wanted to complete and have the uh the standard the high standard that you like to keep once you understand that strategy make sure you do it just write it down and the more you do it again you get that habit and the habit of success is wonderful especially keep doing those steps so simple and in simplicity there's genius old albert einstein he told us that and it is true 
You've got some really simple steps that make you successful. Follow them. They're you. And you'll just continue being more and more successful. Hopefully that's a nice little reminder. It was a good reminder to me. Um, so Paul, Paul Clough from Personal Development Unplugged. The five-minute quickie. Enjoy. And as usual, if you really do, share it. Maybe make that part of your success step. Share the things that you do that have made you the way you are now. Okay. Enjoy. And I'll speak to you and see you real soon. Bye bye now. Personal, personal development, personal development, unplugged, 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 unplugged.